Algebra 1, Lesson 21, Product Rule for Exponents and Addition of Like Terms with Exponents. All right, so we learned the product rule of exponents, which just means that whenever we're multiplying unknowns with exponents, we can just add the exponents together. And that, that goes for whole numbers as well. Anytime we have two numbers that are the same number with different exponents, we can multiply them by just adding the exponents. So let's go over A and B. So all we're going to do here is we're going to add up all the numbers for all the exponents for x and then add up all the exponents for y and then write that together as our final answer. And remember, whenever a number doesn't have an exponent, it has the invisible exponent of 1. All right. So uh, adding the x's, 1 and 4 is 5, 5 and 3 is 8. So our answer is going to give us x to the 8. And now we have to add the y's. So 1 and 5 is 6, so we have y to the 6. x to the power of 8, y to the power of 6, that is our answer. Moving on to B. This one's a little bit bigger, and we've actually got three different letters here. So we'll start with all the x's again. Um, this x doesn't have an exponent, so we put in a 1 there, because there's 1x. Uh, 3 and 1 is 4. 4 and 7 is 11. So we have x to the power of 11. Uh, now let's go with the y's. 2 and 5 is 7, so we have x to 11, y to the power of 7. And then we've got these two m's on the end. Each one has an exponent of 1. 1 plus 1 is 2. So we'll go ahead and put m squared in the front to keep it in alphabetical order. Our final answer, m squared, x to the power of 11, y to the power of 7. And it's that easy. Now, let's go to adding like terms. Again, uh, we're doing the same thing of adding like terms, but now there's exponents involved. So unless two terms have the exact same number on their exponents, then they're not like terms. For example, this 2x squared y cubed is not the same as xy because the exponents have different numbers. We'll, uh, we'll do the same steps as usual. We'll just write anything that's not in alphabetical order in alphabetical order, so these last two terms. So we'll replace uh, negative... Uh, 8y cubed x squared with negative 8x squared y cubed. And it's very important when you do this that you don't switch the exponents, all right? So the exponent follows the letter. Um, a common mistake is it would be to write this as x cubed y squared, and that would be incorrect. So each letter keeps its exponent. They're fused together. They can't be separated. And then this one would be minus 5xy. Here we're going to identify like terms. The x squared y cubes are exactly the same letters with exactly the same exponents, so those are like terms. And then the 1xy and the negative 5xy are also like terms. Same letters, same number of exponents. So 2 plus negative 8 is negative 6, so we get negative 6 x squared y cubed. Again, just like before when we didn't have exponents, these letters do not change at all. The only thing that changes is the coefficient. And then we have 1xy minus 5xy, or plus negative 5, would give us minus 4xy. And that's our final answer. Moving on to the very last one, D. All right, so we've got alphabetical order, alphabetical order. Uh, they're all in alphabetical order. Okay. Uh, it looks like we have two like terms here and here. Um, and then these aren't the same at all, and that's okay. All right, so we can have three different terms in our answer. So all we have to do here is add this one. 1 plus 1 is 2. So we get 2 x to the power of 6 y plus 3 x y minus 5 x y to the 6. Now, the common mistake here would be to call this a like term of this because they both have an exponent of 6, but you'll see that the exponent here is on the y instead of the x. So that is our final answer.